Hi loves, I want to talk about a little bit something that I recently seen and something that's been on my mind. I saw a posting and I guess it was something that the Archbishop of Ireland said, I believe. Don't quote me, don't ever quote me. But um, he basically said that anybody who's homophobic would also have to be godophobic because God loves everybody. So if you are hating on a certain person and using your Christianity or your belief in God to hate on those people, that that makes you catophobic as well. That makes you it's not it's not a thing you can do and say it's in, for the name of God because God loves everybody. He would never judge someone because of something like that. And so you can't that can't be used in that way. And there's a lot of things that I see like people using religion and spirituality and God and they use it for their own for their own ways. This is this is what people do. We we do this, I guess. I don't know. People do that. Christians do that. And humans do that. Because they have their own set of rules that they believe in. And they believe that those are the right rules. And everybody should believe in those rules. Because they feel that that's right. And you know what? To each his own. If someone feels something is wrong, they definitely should not do that. They should definitely go by their feelings. Instinct is so important. It, it leads us. And it, it tells us what to do. But the problem is sometimes our instincts are not correct. And sometimes... We've been led in wrong directions and that can cause our instincts and our mind and our judgments to be completely clouded and to not be true. So we really have to be careful where we get our information from and we have to be careful on our feelings and where they're coming from. And if they're coming from a true source or are they coming from something or someone who's led you to believe that, you really have to question everything in this world. And I've always questioned everything a million times over. I don't trust very many people. I don't trust anybody really. I don't trust humans. And what's funny is I used to hear people say, you know, they put God in front of everything. They put God first. God comes before their family. God comes before their job. God comes before everything. And I, and, and I never could understand that. And well, I would think, how could someone put God before their child? I mean, that's your child. How could you, de you know, deny your, it's your child or your mother or your significant other whom you love or whoever it is. And it never made sense to me. And of course, this was in a time I was in a lot of confusion. And I wasn't in a happy place either. I was very confused. And I was looking for safety. And I was looking for happiness. And I was looking for questions. And I was looking for answers. And if that makes sense, I was just looking for a lot of things. I was looking for things that I will never get. And I really shouldn't waste my time looking for. But I wasn't in a happy place. And I just never understood how anybody could how anybody could even say that, how that could be, how that could be something for someone. And over the past couple of years, my thoughts have changed, my mind has changed, my heart has changed, my soul has changed, and it's been a lot of painful occurrences that have caused me to change. It's a lot of letting go of my fears, letting go of false beliefs that were put upon me by humans, if that makes sense. I went to a Catholic school. There were a lot of beliefs that were pushed on me, and I didn't ever believe in them. I didn't believe that they were right. They didn't feel right to me. They didn't feel true to me. My gut told me that what these pastors, preachers, and priests, whatever they may be, were saying wasn't real, and it wasn't it didn't sit right with me. And the reason why I never sit, sat right with me is because those were opinions of theirs. And so, of course, opinions don't usually sit right with me because that they are that just opinions. Um, I never looked too much into um, the Word of God. I guess, where do you find the, the Bible? I never looked too much into the Bible myself. It was just hearing from others and a lot of what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong with everything. I never heard too much of what was right. I never heard too much of like that until I went on it in with my own, my own heart. I just kind of went at it and I had a couple of deaths happen to me. I had a death actually one sub, very sub, what's the word? Just a really, somebody I love very, very much passed away and it impacted me in such a profound way and in such a spiritual way. It was pretty amazing and he was always a very, very spiritual person, a very godly person, and someone I really looked up to, somebody who who was a really, really good person and when that person passed away, I felt 
so distraught and I felt so lost and I was already having a hard time suffering from depression, anxiety, PTSD, trying to get over past occurrences, trying to make my future better than my past, trying to not live through my mistakes, not trying to make the same mistakes, trying to learn from everything, trying to learn from my mistakes as well as the mistakes my mother had made or mistakes my family had made. I'm just, I was I, at the point where I just, I want to grow as much and I want to be I want to be the best person I can, but at the same time, it was so hard because I felt like everything was weighing down on me. And it could have been that time where you would, you know, where you say, why me? Why? Why God? Why? And I didn't do that. I usually did that. And it was more like the martyr, poor me syndrome. And I was like, well, if there was a God, I would have never been raped. If there was a God, I would have never went hungry. If there was... If there was this, I would have never went that, and that's just so absolutely false. And it's looking at it through selfish eyes in a way, instead of just through an open, an open soul looking through it. I guess I hope this makes sense. But after dealing with that death, and at the same time dealing with such a high depression, such a bad depression, and really feeling very, you know, having suicidal thoughts, just feeling very worthless, I just gave it up I couldn't anymore and I felt very alone I felt like I lost my best friend I lost the only person I could talk to who I could speak with and I guess maybe it just hit me just now is that the reason when we would speak was because we would speak together but we would speak to God and he would he was always a positive influence and God is positive if there's something negative it doesn't come from God God is not negative God is positive, and so dealing with his death, I felt presence. I felt his presence very strong after he died, and I couldn't understand that. And I felt God's presence very strong, and I became I began to just read up a lot on things and just read biblical verses, anything I could that was positive. I started getting into Joyce Myers, who was an amazing human being. And I tried to just keep my focus on amazing human beings, on very positive people, and kind of nix out the negative. And I started to see a lot of negative around me. And it was coming from close sources and coming from afar. And I just started to see things in a different view. And I, I just gave it to God. I realized, you know what, I'm going to give it to you, and we're going to see where this goes. And I felt that it was right. And he honestly will love you. He loves everybody. And so giving myself to him gave me somebody to be able to talk to. It gave me my best friend back. And I felt like I can talk to my best friend whenever I want through him. Because I, I just, I know that there's so much more to this world than what we see. We don't have answers. We will never get the answers that we want. And that is the problem. We want so many answers. We want the answers without having to look for them. We just want them given to us, and it doesn't work that way. And we want answers to things we, sh we don't have any right to have the answer to. It's kind of like asking the teacher for the answers to the test. You can't do that. She's not going to give you the answers, and if she does, it's wrong. You have to seek them out yourself. And some of them might not have a right or wrong answer. That's just the way it is. But... Negativity, I've realized, is really something very strong in this world. And it's all round, and it's covered in cloaks, and it's covered in these false facades. And it's, it's, a lot of this negativity is, it's trying to falsify stuff in your life, if that makes sense. It's trying to make you believe that it's not just this negative false thing that it's the reality and it's not there's so much more our lives are so minuscule and we're all together and we all share this world we're all connected dna is so complex that nobody in this entire world knows much about dna we only know a tiny little fragment of our dna and what it does and then there's this whole whole life this whole thing that we don't even know where it comes from we don't know what it holds it's it's like finding this computer that has 
more technology than anything we've ever seen, but we can't get into it. And that's kind of what our DNA is. And the way everything works, the way the world works, the way everything goes off of each other, lives off of each other, that just tells me that there's so much more. And if you could tell me that everything came from some massive destruction, there's no God, it all came from this big boom, or we came from apes, we've evolved. I just can't believe that because I've never seen anything evolve in those ways at all we don't change our dna's don't we're so complex it's so complicated that there has to be some other things we don't know about with that being said when i talked to god when i gave myself to him he gave himself to me and it wasn't right away it wasn't this initial immediate satisfaction gratification it doesn't happen that way that's not the way life works it was patience and it was faith and continuous faith and still having faith. I've had people, friends, really close friends, that like a really one of my best friends ever tell me it's a fairy tale and it broke my heart so much because it's, it's not, we're not talking about Peter Pan here. We're talking about our lives. We're talking about reality. And so my reality, my feelings, my life, my emotions they're not a fairy tale they are very real and they come from somewhere and it's so hard to explain why we have depression why we have anxiety why all of these things are attacking us in life because i feel like we are being attacked there are so many things we don't see and because we don't see them we don't want to believe they're real therefore we don't look into them therefore we don't understand them at all even though maybe we will never fully understand it we don't even believe it enough to even think that it could be something real and therefore we have all of these things constantly attacking us we wonder why i have i've been on so much medication for depression and anxiety and everything else you can imagine and none of it has done any justice for me i've had so many side effects i'm the type of person Unfortunately, if there's a side effect, I get it. And I'll usually get other side effects that they didn't know about, and then they could put those on the thing. Now they know there's a new side effect because she has it. I don't work well with medication. It doesn't work well with me. I've needed it at times. I don't knock it. I've been very depressed to the point where I could not get pick myself up. And I guess just blurring the mind and drugging myself up in that way kept me going but it, it, it didn't keep me going in a productive way it didn't keep me on a happy route it just kept me closed off closed off to the point where I was so closed off I couldn't the emotion wasn't there and so that kept me going and so I think it's good for some people for that and I think it's good for some people for other reasons everybody's different everybody's bodies work different but nothing has proven for me to work as good as prayer as just giving everything to God and trusting in Him. I have received so much from that. So many smiles, so many burdens off of my chest. I've come to understand so many things because of that, because of trusting. And just taking everybody's opinions out of it and making it my own. And it's just this one relationship with Him, between me and Him, nobody else. And it's so amazing and I'm not pushing religion on anybody I'm not pushing spirituality or God on anybody I'm just saying if you are having a really hard time and you're really confused and things don't go your way and you know if thing life is really throwing a lot of dodge balls at you try looking outside of that and staying strong and giving into a good source and knowing that if some human being tells you something and it doesn't sit right with you, don't listen to it, don't believe it. Even if what I'm saying doesn't sit right, click on the X, go on, because it's not for you, it's not going to be made for everybody. But I think if we're all honest with ourselves and we're all, we all try to stay on a positive, on a positive road, we can support each other in such good ways. And that is so wonderful. That is God. Everything around us is God. It's just so complicated and so confusing and I don't know if this is going to get posted I say that all the time because I don't know if I make sense but for me and everything that I've dealt with he has given me so much so much and I just wish everybody could feel that because I understand now why someone would say God comes before everybody because in my life now there is nothing there is nobody that comes before God God will give me everything I need I truly believe in that and when I do he does he 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 get he makes it he makes it happen and if there's something that I'm lacking if it's not due to something that I've created myself 
it's probably because I don't need it. it he has a reason for it and I feel like he has a huge 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 job for me I think like I think that we have a very close relationship for that reason and I just want to continue to be positive and to shoot positive out there it just let you know that you're loved if people have ever put the fear of God into you you're not alone <laughs> but that's not what God is about he's not about scaring you he's not about giving you negative feelings or making you feel guilt or making you feel bad for things that you've done as a human he's knows you're human he's fully aware of the things that we do he knows what we do before we do them he does not condemn us for those things he forgives for those he forgives and he loves and he expects us to mess make mistakes he just hopes and wishes and hopes and I'm sure he just hopes that we continue to go on his path because I feel like when we don't continue on his path, we are the ones that are failing this test. We are given a life and we are given a test and so many fail it and I think he just wants us all to pass it. I don't think he wants anybody to fail it. I think that that's, there's a whole other side and that's not him. It comes from a negative source that has nothing to do with him. It's a battle and it's so easy easy to go to that negative source and not even realize we're there. We don't even realize we're there. And if we look around and feel, okay, all I feel is guilt. All I feel is pain. All I feel is sadness. You're not with God. You're really not with God. He doesn't do that. We might feel that, but he will just put something into us that will say, you're perfect the way you are and I love you and you're forgiven and that's it just stop let it go he says let it go give it to him and that's what he means by that let it go give it to him he knows you're gonna screw up he knows you're gonna make a mistake he's fine with that let it go don't feel the guilt don't let that derail you on your path stay strong and so that's it love you many blessings